Hey guys, Skinny Pigs one here. So today's video, I'm going to be talking about bladder stones, which sucks that we have to talk about it. Somebody else agrees in the background, don't they? Oh, everybody has lots to say. So signs that your guinea pig has bladder stones, pain while peeing or pooping, blood in their pee, uh, weight loss, being puffed out, arching their back, uh, making painful heaving motions when they're trying to pee so it looks like they're really pushing something and you're going to hear them squeak and squeal a loss of appetite not wanting to eat or drink as well and sometimes difficulties walking Good job, sweetie. Good job. You'll get them out. Hey guys, Skinny Pigs One here. So, Apple went to the vet today, and my last video I was talking about how I haven't had any guinea pigs have bladder stones for a long time, so it's been two or three years at least. Well, I get to eat my words. So Dear Miss Apple has four to five smaller bladder stones in her urethra. So they're out of the bladder, but they are in her urethra right now and we need to get them to pass. So she is on pain medications twice a day and we also have antibiotics. So often with bladder stones, they can have a bladder infection or like a UTI so preventatively just in case she has one we are doing antibiotics as well so she'll be getting antibiotics for two weeks and right now the Medicam is twice a day for seven days so I guess my vets thinking hopefully by seven days the bladder stones will be gone so do you guys remember I did a video where she had a bum bath and I said that she had a bit of a wet bum which I attributed to her sleeping on the hay pile and just getting her bum wet a bit which you know it happens with pigs every once in a while and I said in that video that if it happens often then that's a sign that something's the matter but every once in a while you know things happen. So I had given her that bath that night and the next day she had a wet bum again. So I was like, okay, this is a little bit weird. So I tidied her up again. And then later that day she had a wet bum again. So we made a vet appointment because I was like, this is really, really weird. And then I thought maybe she has arthritis cause she is a senior. So that's what I was kind of thinking, but no, she has stones that are in her urethra. So I'm really shocked because she never lost any weight and besides this peeing issue that she was having and obviously within the last few days of when I noticed her peeing problem being worse I could tell you, you that she was sore but I still thought it was arthritis but besides that like she wasn't showing me any signs of something major wrong which is crazy because normally with bladder stones the ones where I've had pigs with them in the past, like, they are insanely painful. They're not eating or drinking the same. Uh, they've always lost about 200 grams of weight, so like a really obvious amount of weight. But Apple has been her same weight, eating and drinking like normal. So I guess that's something to be thankful for. I still, like, am upset that she has stones because I literally feel like there's nothing diet wise I can do different. I'm like really careful with just keeping things balanced as I can. So I'm just going to do what I can for her to pass them as comfortably as possible. So the biggest thing I'm going to have to watch is that she can pee. Because that would be the biggest problem is obviously if she gets blocked that's an emergency. 
So as long as she is peeing, our fingers are crossed that she's going to pass them soon. So tonight's cage cleaning night. So I guess I'll film some cage cleaning. I wasn't really planning on it. I just wanted to mainly talk about Apple's issue. But I was also going to share the bill with you guys. So like how much I just had to pay today. Just to give you guys a reference of how expensive guinea pigs can be. So I have 10 pigs and today I spent I think about $450. That's on one, well it's technically on two pigs because one of Pecan's medications was on this bill. So I'll insert it now, um, the breakdown of that payment. So we'll look at the bill here. So we had an examination, which is $84. Radiograph split 14 by 17 is $196.80. Uh, the Bactrim or TMS is $40.75. That is an antibiotic. Medicam, we luckily have already, so I don't have to pay for that. So our total for Apple was Three twenty one fifty five. So there it is there. And then for Butter Pecan, this is her Cisapride. This is one of three medications she gets. And it was $70 to refill. So our grand total came to $442.45. For Apple's checkup, x-rays, antibiotics, and then for pecans, Cisapride. So for anybody who's new to guinea pigs, just getting into guinea pigs, I highly suggest you start out slow. So you know, get a couple pigs, get yourself used to it for a while, get used to how much money just the couple pigs are for everything. Nothing scares me more than people who go from like zero pigs to a dozen in no time. Because just when things start to go wrong, like medically, or if just having seen your pigs, anything where you got to spend money at the vet, my goodness, those bills stack up huge. So I'm really lucky that Apple's eating and drinking and acting normal otherwise. Because nothing's worse than when your pig is not feeling right and won't eat or drink properly on their own. So I'm counting my blessings that she's in the best, um, best health. I don't know. What's the word I'm looking in? Best frame of mind. Best. I don't even know what I'm trying to say. But she's at her best for with what's going on to get rid of them. Because she seems like she's doing well otherwise which is going to be very positive for us because we need her to be as strong and healthy as she can be to get rid of these and I highly doubt when she passes them that I'll be able to find them so if you guys remember Barnaby he's from quite some time ago so a lot of you probably won't he had seven bladder stones that he had to pass and he passed them all and I never saw one of them so I don't expect to see her stones anywhere because they'll probably be hidden in the hay and they're pretty small. So over, I don't know, is it like almost 10 or 11 years of having pigs? I've had four pigs get bladder stones. Hey, sweetie we're not going over this way yet do you want to go back that way run along thank you I just got to get a bin so let's talk about bladder stones for a second um, I've had as I said this will be pig number four with bladder stones so first pig was rugby who had a bladder stone uh, he went for surgery and he passed away 
right at the end of his surgery, he went into cardiac arrest. He was not doing well when he went for the surgery, so he was already really weak. Um, it was really, really difficult because that was my first guinea pig that passed away. And it was very upsetting. And that felt like a learning moment to me because I did not get him in for surgery as quick as I could have. Because I was like debating for too long about what to do and all that stuff. So that was a really tough loss. And then next pig that got a bladder stone was Barnaby. So he had one that we got removed and he did great through his surgery, his recovery. And he was, I think, three years old when he had the first one. And then after that, he had seven, I think it was, when he was about five and a half years old. And luckily those ones were small enough for him to pass, which for guys, you can't guarantee that they can pass them. Their urethra is smaller than the females and they have a lot more way to travel. So we were really lucky that he could pass those. And then my next pig that got a bladder stone was Butterscotch. She started out with three that weren't too big. So we were working on trying to see if they would pass. And then the next x-ray we got, the three stones had formed into one bigger one, which still wasn't big enough to not be able to pass. So we kind of waited it out again. And then all of a sudden she just started going right downhill so I had to send her for surgery and she made it through surgery, but she passed away in her recovery. And man, oh man, did it suck. So then now we have Apple, who is four, with stones in her urethra. So as far as things go, that's good in a sense that they've already made their way through the bladder or like out the bladder. And she's peeing, so obviously she's not blocked right now, so I hope they all just push out. Oh, it just sucks thinking about it. But it, I'm just glad that like she's not acting in pain, except for when she tries to pee sometimes. Sometimes she's fine, other times she'll do a hunched up pee. And then after she pees, she does a squeak and like a big huh. So she's trying to push something out. If you like watching guinea pig videos, learning how to care for us, seeing product hauls or reviews, or really anything else guinea pig, please subscribe and make sure you hit that notification bell so you never miss a video. Down below I've left two more videos for you to pick from, so keep on watching!